Hey guys, I'm doing another YouTube uh, video. Now, uh, as you know, I'm trying to build a little irrigation um, control for my block of land. Um, so I want remote control. So I'm looking at the Arduino IoT Cloud to, to help me do this. Um, so I've made a couple of videos before, but uh, so what you can see here is I've created a what they call a thing and I've associated it with my ESP8266. I prefer the ESP32, but I don't have any spare at the moment, so I'm using the A266, which should still do the job just fine. Um, and I put the Wi-Fi details in, I've got the given the secret key, uh, and I've just created two variables. Now, I had a lot more complicated system before, and I realized I discovered when I was playing around on the dashboard I discovered this schedule one. So if I go to the dashboard now and open up that dashboard, you can see this scheduler function. So if I go to edit and I go add, you can see down here there's the scheduler, right? So you can actually schedule when you want your pump to turn on or off um, throughout the week, which is absolutely fantastic. And I'll just see if I can cancel that uh have to move that out of the road and just delete that now so you can see i've got my scheduler set up now that's actually tied to a variable that i had to create uh called schedule and when you create that variable you you basically tell arduino that this is a schedule variable and it has to be read and write. So it can write a value through the IoT cloud to the micro. Um, and there is my pump status. Later, I'm going to actually measure the voltage across the pump, a scaled measurement, and return that value instead. Now, if I go to the sketch, so this simplifies my sketch massively. So all I have to do is add a line of code for the digital output pin to control the relay switch for the pump. And in here, this is the main loop. This is all I've added, just this here. So schedule, that's actually the name of the schedule variable. It could be anything. It could be like pump control or whatever. Uh, is active. Sw switch the output high. Set the status as true. Otherwise, if it's not active, turn the pump off and set the status as low. It's so simple. It's just a wonderful piece of code. Now, I found that when I... Um, went to full editor and tried to download this code um, it came up with a whole bunch of errors uh, because even though i've told it it's an esp8266 arduino it just wasn't happy so what i did was i downloaded that sketch and then i just opened it up in my installed arduino and there i picked generic esp8266 made sure the port number was right based off your device manager Right, make sure you've got your, um, your comms chip drivers installed to, to get that running. Um, and there you go. And just download it and it runs just fine. So I'll show you it running. If I go back to the dashboard, uh, so you can see at the moment it's off. But if I just change this, so at the moment it's 11.40. So it's triggered to start 11.45 every day. But if I just bring that forward to, say... Um, 11, well, time now is 11.40, so I'll just start it right now and go done. So you can see it turns on. So I know now it works. So I don't need to have so much information coming through my serial port monitor. So you can see I've got the serial port monitor, monitor running, connecting to my Wi-Fi, connecting to the cloud. There's a the thing ID. But I don't need to have to keep feeding status updates to the serial port monitor anymore, uh, which actually slows the processor down significantly and wouldn't work anyway if it's out in the field. So that just becomes redundant uh, anyway. I really want to be able to remotely monitor the pump status. So I'm extremely happy uh, with that. Now I've just got to uh, assemble this into the hardware, add the relay um, and my DC plugs and everything else that I have to do. So but this is an incredibly powerful uh, widget for the uh, dashboard.
It's very, very powerful. Big time saver. I hope you got something out of that video, guys. Thank you.